Hello everybody, it's Marcia from Kansas Misfit. And today I want to visit with you and talk to you, you know, about gardening. A lot of people are like afraid to plant. Uh, if you have a yard of any kind, let's say you live in town, you have a little yard, but not very big. But if you have a yard of any kind, you can plant seeds. Uh, and if you don't have a yard, you can do container gardening and things like that. Let me read a little bit here to you what something I want to share. To determine proper varieties the quality of seeds, planting dates, and correct procedures for your geographical area, obtain current information and assistance from local government, university, or other qualified sources. Now there might even be a Count, not council, uh, I was going to say council on aging, but that's for the elderly people. Uh, uh, let's say, what is it called? The city. Anyway, like the Chamber of Commerce, those areas, they will have that information on where you can get uh, the, what's best to plant where you live. And then you take what they say is best to plant and use what you like. Don't plant things you know you're not going to eat. Just plant things you, you can eat that you can be able to have for you and your family. Don't worry about, you know, oh, what is that? I don't even know what that is. I, I, don't plant something if you don't know what it is. Don't plant something if you don't like it. Because you're just going to waste your time, waste your money, and waste space that something can be growing that you will eat. Make sure it's something you like. Um, every yard has space for a garden. Plant the lawn. Plant part of the lawn or even a play area or flower gardens may be converted into a garden. <clears throat> if you have no yard, vegetables may be grown in the window box. You know, you see those, you know, it's like as, as wide as the windows, maybe six inches wide, as six inches wide and as long as the windows which is windows, not length, but the width of the window is the length of the garden, and then the width is like six to eight inches for that, and then you hook up there underneath the window. Um, let's see, where'd I see that? Uh, if you have no, no yard, vegetables may be grown in a window box or pots. If you don't have any pots, you can go to the grocery store and get empty five-gallon jugs that they use for frosting. Go to the bakery uh, or the deli. Go to um, the, yeah, the bakery. They might even have empty containers from their grease, their lard, that they use to make their pastries. They'll give you those buckets. They, they might want some for themselves, but they, they give them away and they, they don't charge. I mean, the ones I got, I never got charged for. Depends on the person, I guess. Um, plant the garden where it will receive at least four hours to six hours of direct sunshine each day. Uh, the soil should drain well. Now, if you do use a bucket, make sure you drill holes in the bottom of the bucket so there is drainage so you be able, so they don't drown. They won't grow if they can't drain. That's why you continue watering them, and, and they won't. They'll they'll suffocate themselves. They'll drown inside the uh, bucket if you don't drain it with holes in the bottom. Let's see. The soil should be, drain well, and an ad adequate source of water would should be available. So make sure you make sure you water them. All the time until the plant pokes up all the ground and needs to be wet all the time when the seed produces a little plant little green thing pops up then you can slack off a little bit on the water but don't let it dry out because it'll die and then you lost all your time and effort putting the seed in to let it grow now if you don't want to do seed and you want to go spend money on plants make sure you water them you know because they will die if you don't water them um, Sometimes you can buy a plant for like $3 and you can get a, a package of seeds for $3 or even less than that. 
and you can have let's say there's 20 seeds in that package you can have 20 of those plants instead of one so it's cheaper to buy the seeds and plant them and start out in your house and then when they're ready to go outside you can plant them outside you don't want to plant them outside yet you want to take them outside and let them get used to the sun and the wind blowing on their leaves so they don't topple over and break to strengthen them then you can put them in the ground um, to prepare your soil soil that is low on fer that are low in fertility can be improved in the addition of fertilizer. Some fertilizer should be added uh, before tilling and the remainder should be used during the growing se season. And there's different kinds of fertili fertilizers. You can get those things from like, uh, I was gonna say, places where they sell plants, like uh, farm and ranch places. Um, gardening anywhere they have gardening seeds maybe even the grocery store they might have fertilizers there uh, i would think that like farm and ranch or uh true value they have plants too if you have a greenhouse out there they probably can f find out where you can get some fertilizer for some reason my eye itches <laughs> okay they even have liquid fertilizer you can get neem oil you can get uh, fish emission water you can make some like eat your bananas and put your bananas in a container and then when it rains set the container outside and let it get rain and then after that gets mushy and stuff take the bananas out throw them away and then put your banana water in your in your pot where your food's growing and that'll fertilize it and when you're putting into your, your plant into the dirt you can put rabbit poop chicken poop you know mix that up inside there cow poop after it's already turned into dirt you know after it's matured that's why they call it black cow black cow is really good and then you can i also have i i do young living essential oils and they have thieves household cleaner I mix that in my water and I spray that on the leaves of my plants in the evening when the sun's down and not going to burn the leaves and it helps keep the the nasty insects off of the, the leaves. You do it on the stem, the leaves, underneath you make sure you get underneath and on top and uh, spray around the base of the plant and it helps keep the insects off of the, of the plant which will save its life and give you more produce. And I'll leave a, a link in the description and you can check that out. Do your own research, but check it out. It works. Where was I at now? Soil preparation. Okay, now planting the garden. Not planting, but planting. What do you want to plant? You know, planting the garden. Begin with small garden plot. Don't don't get huge and then uh, I can't even keep up with this. That's my fault. I do that all the time. I just tell myself it's gonna work. It's gonna work, you know. And sometimes there's weeds and it looks like crap. There's so many weeds, but there's still food in there. Don't give up. Just keep going around like a foot away from the plant. Get all weeds around that plant and go on the next plant. And then the the inner rows in between can be tilled. Or dug up with a, a hoe and then get it out of there you know I uh, I'm doing something this year that I've never did before I'm gonna take this the black weave um, it's a row black that you lay down and it a weed barrier that's what it's called lay it down on the ground and then you mark your holes where you want to plant your plants or your seeds and then you plant them and then the weed barrier helps keep the weeds out. And the hope I have enough for four rows right now. But after I get those four rows planted, I'm going to try to get some more. And then continue until my garden's full of the black uh, weed barrier. Where I can get my plants in. and Because um, I have some seeds planted already. But I need to plant more for the fall and stuff like that. I hope someone's getting something out of this. Um... Begin with the small garden plot. The garden can be enlarged as you become more experienced 
and become acquainted with the growing conditions. Draw a garden plan showing the location of each type of plant. You can use this plan the next year in developing a rotation system to control the building and of disease and insect infestation. The size of the garden uh, hold on. and the type of produce should be adapted to local conditions and to your ability to care for them properly. Several crop usually can be planted successfully in the same area during the same year. Now, um, let's say you you only have six foot, six foot by 14 foot. That's not very big, but you can get a lot of food in here. This here has a little thingy. Let me see if I can turn around so you can see. Like you can get, I can't read this, it's backwards. I'll show this to you, uh, take a picture. And then I'm going to read about it. Okay. On the, like the first nine inches, you can plant six, uh, six tomato cages with tomatoes in it. So six tomatoes. And then you can get 21 inches over. You can plant pole beans. On with the wood on wood and and string trellises, so you take a piece of wood down in there, and then the plant will grow up that wood, and the strings will can be tied up to it so it stays up in place. The plant tied to the string, the plant tied to the wood, so the plant stays up, and you can keep them off the ground, and uh, keep keep them growing and and secure, and or and you can plant. 12 inches from that, you can plant nine cucumbers and put a trellis up for them to grow up. That way they're not all over the place and you have more space to plant things. And you can do uh, an early cabbage, six plants, and then in the and then after that harvest, you plant some beets and you get 75 beets in that, in that next spot. And then you can do like winter squash, you can do plants of winter squash, two summer squash, Swiss chard. I've never had that before, but I'm going to try it. So I always try to do at least one thing new each year that I've never ate before. And if I don't like it, then my chickens can eat it. But I want to make sure it's something that can be put down for the chickens. Because if I don't like it, I don't want to waste it, you know. And I also try to sell at the farmer's market. I'm probably making this video too long, but hope you're enjoying it. Then you can plant 72 pea plants. And after that harvest... You can do cabbages in the in the fall, which six six cabbage plants, and then then beets, seventy five plants in the mor in the morning in the early, and then after that harvest you can plant seventy five plants of kale, and then you and then the last two rows on in that six foot by fourteen foot is seventy five carrots, two rows both of them, so that's one hundred and fifty carrots, and there you go, you got your tomatoes, beans, cucumbers, cabbage. Swiss chard, uh, summer squash, and winter squash. Then you got your peas and cabbage and beets and kale and carrots. That's a pretty good amount of food. And that, if that sounds good to you, then maybe you should do it. T uh, tomorrow I'm going to continue on with this here gardening uh, to help someone who wants to learn uh, to be able to get a little more knowledge. So I hope I have somebody wanting to follow me on that. And if you do enjoy this, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Ta-ta.